time to point out that uh, Jay's halfway legally drunk. Half? <laughs> oh, gosh. Halfway, and he is crazy. Um, yeah. Trooper Roe is here, and um, we were thinking, wow, he's acting like a nut, Jay. Um, surely he's legally drunk at this point. And there's a difference between being impaired and being legally drunk. Yes, there's a, you know, we hear people talk about DUI, DWI. It's actually the same thing in Missouri. We call it DWI. Uh, 0 0.08 is, uh, that's a baseline. And that's, I think where that comes from, where we talk about that's legally drunk, is because that's where uh, your license gets administratively suspended. So you get stopped, you blow a 0 0.08, or we take a blood test, you're over 0 0.08, automatically your license the first time uh, is going to get suspended 30 days. Okay, but we always call it DWI. However, you can always get arrested for DWI when you're below 0 0.08. Uh, we just need to show impairment. Some people are impaired under that oh, magic yeah. number of 0 0.08. So, right. According to the National uh, Highway Traffic Safety Administration, at 0 0.05, which is where you're at, you're at 0 0.049, um, you have exaggerated behavior. We're seeing that out of you. Well, I mean, you mean you, you just pointed out the fact, like, last hour, that, I mean, I'm an idiot anyways, even when I'm not <laughs> drinking, so it's kind of hard to tell if I'm drinking or not. He but I can this because he's halfway drunk right now. Right. right. You are different. And I'm going to be completely honest right now. When you said that I was 0 0.05, I feel like at least... Point one something. I mean, I'm, and you I don't know really if that. Drunk or not very drunk? I feel pretty drunk, and okay. I don't know if that's because it's the morning, okay. or I'm making excuses right now. Okay. You tell me, Pam. So do you have an? You unusual, call me out. You call me out, girl. Good feeling about yourself right now? Do I have a good feeling about myself? <laughs> you should. You look at me, <laughs> and you tell me should if I? I have a good feeling about myself. Well, so one of the things that we're going to see from you, and we're seeing it right now, is a release of inhibition. <laughs> Lowered alertness. Is that what that is? Yeah, um, impaired judgment. And um, you're going to have a loss of small muscle control, which includes focusing. <laughs> Look forward Nothing to that. new. <laughs> small muscle. We're talking eyes here, okay. Small <laughs> muscles. Yeah, small. No, no stop it. Small muscles. Be glad you're not in the studio. Oh. So, um, Trooper Rowe, would you mind uh, putting him through a field sobriety test? Explain to us what that is and what you're checking for when you do that. And let's see if we can grade some impairment here. Sure. This is a uh, standard, one of the standardized field sobriety tests. Uh, what I'm going to do is the one leg stand. So hopefully we have enough room here. Uh, what I want you to do, Foch, is uh, stand heels and toes together, just like this. Uh, arms down to your side. Uh, I want you to, I want you to uh, raise whichever foot you feel comfortable with, about six inches off the ground. Point your toe, look down at your foot, and count out loud: one, one thousand, two, one thousand. Hold on. Uh, wait until I give you the instructions, and I'll even demonstrate. Okay. So, uh, so look like this. Arms down to your side. That's what I mean by pointing your toe, okay? Uh, look down at your foot and count out loud. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. You just keep going until I tell you to stop, okay? Go ahead. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Three, one thousand. Four, one thousand. Five, one thousand. Six, one thousand. He's shaking. Seven, one thousand. Eight, one thousand. Nine, one thousand. <laughs> Ten, one thousand. <laughs> 11, 1,000, 12, 1,000. We can do this all night. What are we doing? Ooh, well, that's a brace of behavior. Yes, yes. <laughs> Ambitions are out the window. Yes. He's talking mean to me. Okay. Taser um, him. <laughs> Taser him. Yeah. <laughs> so, Poch uh, kept putting his foot down. Okay. Uh, okay. We would typically run that test for about 30 seconds. Okay. And it, it would be at those latter points in the uh, 30 seconds that you would expect. The person to start wobbling around, using their arms for balance. They but might say, when is this going to end? Sure. <laughs> sure. Not um, something you would normally say to an officer. But so like Foch did, you, you kept seeing him put his foot down just to kind of regain his balance. Yeah. So Would you grade him as impaired after that test, or would you do another test? Well, yeah, what we're typically looking for in that test is two clues. So he would put his foot down, that would be one clue. Uh, um, using his arms for balance, that would be another one. So, uh, so yeah, not probably not enough clues for me to uh, haul him to jail, but uh, definitely uh, 
It's also signs of impairment. Well, I think my sister's crying right now, laughing. It's the giggle box for Dana over on the uh, couch over here. Dana and Angela are laughing a lot because Spotch has sweaty pits and he's showing them off. So, Drew Barreau, Drew Barreau, does this account? <laughs> do you ever look at people's armpits and go, wow, they're, they're, those are large sweat rings? He's definitely drunk. <laughs> nervous, nervous. Yeah. Sweaty. Well, there is 90,000 people in this yeah. room. It's the size of a closet. Yeah. And we don't have the air on. I so that ask might have a... you, if, can you have a nice Agnes gaze on him? Let's see if you oh, pass that. Let's yeah, see that. absolutely. What is that? Well, this is something that you can't control. And, you know, everyone has some nystagmus. And that means that uh, when I would ask you to look out to the side, your pupils, there would be a jerking in your eye. And everyone has that naturally. However, you can't detect it with the human eye. You're probably not going to be able to see it unless you've been drinking. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. And it's so not that, something you can cover up then. Right. No, not at all. You can't pass this one if you've been drinking. So, so you'll, you can actually see the eye jerk visibly. Okay. And, and usually you would expect to see that 0 .08 and above. Yes. Uh, is when you'd start seeing that. So, hey, let's. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just a short guy. <laughs> All right, follow the tip of my pen with your eyes only. Don't move your head. With your eyes only. Don't move your head. Don't move your head. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. He's doing pretty good. He's a good student. He is. He's doing great. So, yeah, we're not, we're not, not really seeing any? much of anything here, but. Gosh, how many you can, drinks has he had? Three. I would be what? passed out. I would too. So yeah, you know what? They're... Angela is drunk. I just want to say she is crazy. <laughs> I am drunk. So let's bring her over. Okay. And yeah. Absolutely. Come on, Angela. And, and real quick, I do want to clarify. Uh, like truly, I feel drunk right now. Yeah. yeah. But I metabolize. Is there anything else you want to share with us? <laughs> Ooh, my Angela. She's tuning you out. What? Like I'm fine for a long time, and then yeah. over here. Did you, I, yeah, I just yeah. wondered if anyone the else. The bouncy. Seen that. Yeah. Check this out for all the non-drunk people. Watch Angela's eyeballs. You see her eyes. They'll bounce when they get to the edge. Can, can you guys can't. see that? That's, yeah, yeah. She can control that. And you see how her eyes are moving. I'm trying. Well, you put that damn pen so far away. <laughs> I know. It's like around on the back of my head. <laughs> you do the pins like over here. I'm like. <laughs>